Welcome everybody, this is Mr. Games Master 1, and finally I'm going to bring you guys a trading tip video. And this one's going to be specifically for Team of the Year, because, again, I just don't upload. I, other, I watch a lot of YouTubers, and in general, for the past four years, all they do is a... Uh, buy buy coins and uh, FIFA points from UT coin traders and whatever MMOGA is cheap, uh, quick and reliable. Give me money and open packs so I could get more money. And then like they say in the same video, oh so there's gonna be a market crash, so there's gonna be a high supply. They they literally say this in every video. High supply, there's gonna be more players on the market. People are gonna undercut each other and prices are gonna go down. And they literally just tell you that. Well, that's... We, we literally know that. Four-year-olds know that. But the trick is, they don't tell you what you could do. How you could abuse that to your advantage. So, before I get into this, this made me think of a new series. Usually you look up to people higher than you, so you could become better. And the only thing I could see that they're better at me in... Okay, I'm not trying to sound really cocky here, but come on. The only thing I think they're better is, like, editing. I have zero editing skills, I'll tell you. But their gameplay is really bad. All they do is open packs, pink slips, lose, and rage, and that's basically all they do. I barely see any good players. I'm not saying there's none. Like, there's Batson. I think he's really good, I believe. Uh, Air Japes is not that bad, but, like, like Mad HD Gamer. I'm not trying to call them out. Really, but they're I'm not saying they have bad videos, but their FIFA quality, like gameplay tips, aren't that special to be honest. So this is a new series I'm gonna make. Drop a like or comment below saying that you like it. So if you like it, that means I'll try to go with it. So basically, I have three thousand seven hundred subscribers. So this series, I'll start playing YouTubers, starting with like one thousand subscribers, then going to. 5,000, then to 7,500, 10,000, then I'll play a YouTuber with 15,000, then play a YouTuber with 50,000, just keep on moving up, 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 until I get to YouTubers that are like 100,000, so basically I want to try to prove in this video that I could beat every YouTuber out there, I don't know if I can, but maybe I could, and at the end of the video, either they say I'm better than them, or I say they're better than me, simple as that, so... If you like this kind of series, comment below. If you have any YouTuber in mind, like, I don't know, between, for now, between 5,000 subscribers to 20,000 or so, I gotta, like, move up. I can't just call out someone with 500,000 subscribers and be like, play me, they won't look at me. But if I start playing and moving up, man, eh, maybe they can look at me, but I don't know. It's worth a shot. It's a new series. So, yeah, let's get into this without further ado. So... Basically, the market crash at the end, so Team of the Year comes out, they open packs for center backs, then center mids, then attackers, and everyone's open packs, 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 but they don't, but what you don't do, or what people don't tell you to do is, you need to buy players again, and that's what I do. So, there's two kind of, there's, for me, there's... Option A or Option B? Option A, if you have a lot of coins, we're talking about millions of coins. Option B, if you have, I don't know, thousands, maybe hundreds of thousands of coins. So, players are going to go down in price. We all know that. But then, at the end, everybody's going to build their team again. So, everybody's buying players again. Nobody's opening more packs. P prices of players are literally going to go back up. They're not going to ba go back up to their original price, but they're going to go back up. So, option A, this is the expensive way. For example, Zlatan. I'm not... Okay, I invest... I use this method, not even team of the year. I use this when the Legends came out. Some I heard, because Twitter, of course, they said we're going to release all 42 Legends at once. So, Zlatan's price dropped from, I don't know, 1.3, or like, actually 1 million. He dropped from 1 million to 700... 40,000. That's when I bought him. So the market crashed. I bought him for 740,000. I kept on using him and I sold him last week. Two weeks ago, actually, because, like, look at his price now. I sold him two weeks ago for 1.2 million. 400k profit just by 
getting Zlatan, holding on to him, and playing with him, and having fun with him. So look at his price now. So you're guaranteed, okay, look, 1 million, there's no bid. Like a guaranteed sell would be like, I don't know, a 990 coins by now. That would be like a guarantee sell. So since two weeks ago, not, not even 10 days, his price went down 200,000. So this method would work efficiently. I don't know about legends. Please, I don't know any inform investments or legend investments. To me, they're way too risky. I really don't know how to deal with these. But like players like Ibra, Ronaldo, Messi, Ribéry, Robin. Especially Ibra and Ronaldo, they're gonna go down, for example, let, let's see Ronaldo's price, that's the player that I'm aiming to get to, and you're gonna see I'm not bullshitting. Last time I checked, he was going for 2.4 million and dropped to around 2 million, let's see, ooh, this is awesome, 1.9 million, 1.8 million, this guy's literally gonna drop to 1.6, 1.5 million, this is my prediction, I'm gonna follow through with it. His price is gonna drop to, when they release the attackers for team of the year, there, he's going to go down for 1.6 million, 1.5, between 1.5, 1.6, 1.7, something like that. And as soon as I see his price just starting to go up, I'm just going to buy him. And his price is going to bounce back to, to around 2.1 million, 2 point something million. Believe me, everybody's going to open packs, everybody's going to have somewhat coins, and they're going to try to buy Ronaldo, and his price is going to go back up again. So, Ronaldo, th that's what I'm going to do. So now, if you don't have that many coins, this is a trading method that I did in FIFA 12 that was really efficient. Okay, let's refresh here. Let's put gold players, Premier League. So literally, every single person, I'm, I'm not joking, okay, there's the YouTubers and Twitter community, and there's the whole FIFA community. The FIFA community is massive, and every little 10-year-old or whatever, got some Microsoft points or PSN points for Christmas, they're going to spend their f things on packs during Team of the Year. So there's going to be trillions of packs that are going to be open, and everybody's just going to post for 150 sell, post for 150 sell, they just want to get their coins and open more packs. But the trick is, instead of you saying to yourself, oh, I'm just going to open one or two packs, Believe me, I'm going to tell you, you're not going to get an inform, a team of the year play. You're not going to get one. The chances of you getting in team of the year is so slim. Imagine all the packs open, and then you go check team of the year, there's like two pages of them. So out of the millions of packs open, only, I don't know, 10 were found. It's just 15, 20 were found. It's not worth it. So literally, I'm going to show you these players, like the investments to do. You could literally double your money. I did this method in FIFA 12. Okay, let's look at players right now for 2 to 4K. Premier League. You can do this with all kind of players. Okay, let's... Clichy, for example. You know Clichy is the best left back in the Premier League. Or if you want to argue, say, Ashley Corbains, whatever. He's the top left back in the Premier League. So he's going for around 3K now. And his price, when the market crashes, everybody's going to open packs, put them up for 150 Nobody's going to look to invest, nobody's going to look to just, he's going to go for really cheap price. So what I did was, picked him up for between 650 coins and 1,000 coins. And I did that to players like, like, if you want to compare it to back then, back then I used players like Terry, Walcott, and whatever. But like this year, you could use that with Negretto, with Baines. Look, 2.7 bid, you could get him for 650. Team of the year ends, give it one or two weeks, prices will go back up. You sell him. You got him for six fifty. You sell him for two thousand five hundred. That's almost tripling your coins. And imagine doing that with all these players: Benteke, Lukaku. There's a ton of players this year you could do. This is just Premier League. Eriksen, Fellaini. Just if you pick up these players for six fifty, believe me, you're guaranteed to sell them for at least, at least a thousand six hundred, thousand two hundred. Just like that's like the worst case, but you could easily. Triple your money, quadruple your money. Like I picked up, I know some player got him for six fifty. I ended up selling him for four thousand. Just they go up in price, and that's just a six fifty bid. So you could use all your coins and just like bid six fifty, six fifty, six fifty, six fifty. If you get over bid, bid a thousand, thousand. Then hold on to them, let the market crash end. Give it one or two weeks. Price is gonna go up. Then sell them again. You literally doubled your coins. So. 
as I said in this video, option A, either invest in big players and watch them go back up in price and sell them, or if you don't have that much money to invest in the big players, get these small players for 650, 700 coins, 800 coins, whatever, then triple, quadruple your money on them. So yeah, hope this tip helped you. Drop a like if it did, and also drop a like if you like the new idea of the series, and comment below tell me who should I challenge first. Maybe I could start it soon. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this. This is Mr. Games Master 1. I'll see you guys next time. Peace out.